Hey, what's up guys? Before the video starts, I would just like to remind you to download my toolbar. The link is in the description box. It has some really cool shit and it is compatible with Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Safari. So I hope you guys enjoy the toolbar and enjoy the video that is upcoming next. Peace. What's up guys? Welcome to another Call of Duty Black Ops Team Deathmatch commentary. And this one is a combat training gameplay. And the reason why I have it on combat training is because of the fact that I don't play Black Ops a lot. I haven't played it in weeks. And I decided the only way I'll get used to this game and be able to go into public lobbies and dominate really easily is if I first play about maybe an hour or an hour and a half of combat training on veteran and this is one of those games this is a game where I was this was like probably like the the fifth sixth game in and um, I was already like kind of used to it but it's good to do this the reason why is because you get used to playing uh, like aim bots because when you play combat training on veteran it's like getting butt fucked without fucking lube these guys just do some work on you like they they just they finish you and you have no time to react and uh, the reason being of course is because they're computers and you know they, they don't have any emotions or they, their eyes don't get tired they uh, their reactions are perfect you know they're not thinking about something else while playing black ops they're just they have no brain they're just fucking whatever they're programmed to do they freaking do if you program them to kill the fucking baby they'll kill the damn baby if you program them to rape somebody's asshole on black ops they'll do it you know, whatever you want them to do, they'll do it. That's the whole point of computers, and that's you gotta get used to this. And then when you go into uh, public lobbies, you then you go up against human beings, which are tired, which have to think, which have to have great reaction times, and uh, good strategies and everything like that, and tend to fuck up. So once you get used to this, then you go back to public lobbies. Public lobbies are much easier. So that's my whole theory on playing combat training on veteran, and uh, I know a lot of you guys agree with me. If you don't, then, um, I don't know, you know, write a letter to Obama for all I care. But, <laughs> now I'm being a jackass right now, let me stop. Um, but, this, uh, this does get quite annoying when they do that 360 turn on you. Like, if you're shooting them in the back, they just do a real fast turn on you and kill you in about three or four shots because their aiming is, like, right on point. But, um, it is good to do if you, if you're not used to... Uh, Black Ops, I would highly suggest that you do this on your, you know, when you're coming back into Black Ops. So, uh, hold on, let me just pull up my commentary topic pad. Uh, let's see what's on, what's in this. Because what, what, basically what I do is I, I have like a little notepad, you know, a notepad on the computer. And, um, I have like this uh, file with uh, a whole bunch of commentary topics. Whenever one comes to my head, you know, if I'm at my computer, I will type it in. If I'm not, if I'm outside doing something, then I, I have, like, a, my phone, which has, like, memos. And I just, you know, I real quick put some keywords into my phone and, and close it. And this helps with, with my videos. So let's see what I got here. I got a Black Ops tip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a great tip if you're trying to get better at Call of Duty. You know, you don't want to use the perks that are going to make you better. You want to use the... You, you want to use perks that are they're complete shit, you know. So don't use Ghost if you if you're trying to become better at Call of Duty because when you when you use Ghost, it's basically keeping you off radar when the UAV comes around, and the UAV comes around more often than the Blackbird, of course. So when that UAV comes around, you're off radar. Not a lot of people are going to be rushing at you because they don't see you on radar. If you don't have Ghost on. You're going to be on radar, a lot of people are going to be rushing you, and you'll get used to being rushed, and and your reaction time will improve over time. Uh, I don't know if you guys are, you know, some of you guys might not catch the drift on that theory, but uh, just play it back a couple of times, you'll realize it. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Oh, I have like an entire freaking paragraph of why I like Battlefield more than Call of Duty because a lot of people have been asking me that question you know why do I, I enjoy Battlefield much more than Call of Duty and also a lot of people have been agreeing uh, like for example if you, if you agree with with me on Battlefield being better than Call of Duty um, just you know post it in the comment because that's basically like the uh, well Call of Duty is the top game in this community it is a practically a Call of Duty community but this community is starting to you know, become more, more, more diverse when it comes to video games, and there's a lot of other video games being showcased out there, such as Battlefield. And on my channel, that's the top two games: Call of Duty and Battlefield. So, I enjoy Battlefield much more than Call of Duty. So, if you agree with me, just post it in the comment section. 
Um, another thing, oh, Art Gaming. If you guys don't know about that channel, I'm a part of it. I haven't really made a single video for them yet because I've been extremely busy, but I will get around to doing it soon. Um, they are a great channel. They just started. It's like all PS3 players and everything like that. It's a PS3 team. I don't know if they're still like all PS3 players, so I'm not even going to say that. I think they still are, you know. I don't think they'll change it that fast. But uh, the gameplay is going to be coming to an end pretty soon. And, yeah, in about like 30 seconds or so. I can't really see. I'm using Sony Vegas to record the commentary, so... I can't see the accurate, like, time that it ends. Like, uh, I used to use Windows Movie Maker to record commentaries, and it'll show me that exact time, like, 5 minutes, 37 seconds, something, 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 but Sony Vegas doesn't really show that. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I was pretty tired while making this. It's already, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm tired. What the fuck is wrong with me? But, um, I'll make more commentaries in the future when I get a chance, so, uh, Remember to hit that like button and check out my blog. Link is in the description box. And download my toolbar. Uh, that link is in the description box as well. Till next time, peace.